What's up, trendsetter gang? What up? Okay, so today's video is going to be about Carly Rossi Sangria. Um, one of, let me go to my, um, so I can make sure I get the name right, go to my channel, but, um, one of my subscribers asked me to try Carly Rossi Sangria. Um... And I, I forgot, um, it's Queen something. One of my older subscribers had asked me to try a wine, St. James something, and I, she didn't give me no more information on it, so I didn't find it. Um, so please give me some wines that I can find and do your research and let me know if it's in your specific region, because some wines are, all wines are not everywhere, and all wines are not universal okay so please do do me that favor if you don't have all the information just don't tell me because it's not gonna help me if you can't give me all the information um and i went around and i couldn't find it so maybe that's all the information she had um i wasn't able to find it so just you know y'all gotta work work with me I also want to say thank you um, for subscribing, Official Willie 2.0. Yay! Thanks for subscribing. Um, let me go back to. Um, Okay, Daisy Karina said to try the Carlo Rossi Sangria. Well, this is the Carlo Rossi Sangria, and it is, it says grape wine with natural flavors. Um, and it is 1.5 liters, and it is 10% um, alcohol volume. Now, I got, it, it was another one that I had my hands on when I, I got it from Walmart, by the way, you guys. Um, let me fix the camera. Excuse me. So, y'all can, can y'all see it? Yeah. So, I got it from Walmart. And, um, they, it, when I was in Walmart, I, it, they showed, um, it, they had another Carly Rossi um, sangria. No, I, I'm sorry. It was. I'm sorry. It wasn't a. Um, what the? It wasn't a, a Carly Rossi um, sangria. It was Carly Rossi rose or something like that. I think it was rose, and it was like five percent. And I was like, uh, uh, honey, it's got to be more than that. And then also, if you guys want me to try wine, please let it be over. At least oh, like ten percent or higher. Like I don't want to try no low. I'm I'm just gonna keep it one thousand. I don't want to try nothing low. I don't want to try no five percent because that's I mean to me that's Kool Aid. And I I just don't really I'm I don't have an interest for it because I feel like it's for people that are light waiters. Um, I used to drink like Hennessy and stuff like that, and now that I have a healthier option, which is wine. I don't want anything that's 5%, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, 2%. I don't even know if they have anything that's 2%, but I mean, 5%, I mean, really, I, I, I'm not getting that. But this seems to be um, natural, and you know, sangria is, you know, you can, that's like a natural wine. I think um, a lot of Latin people... Uh, Spanish people make it, I believe, if I'm if I'm not correct. I stand to be correct if I'm not wrong about that. But I'm just, um, I'm excited. Because, you know, sangria has always been good to me. You know, my grandmother made sangria. People I know that made sangria, I liked it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's fruity and it's got natural um, flavors in it. So, let's try it and see what's, what's going on. Without further ado, all right. First, let me um.
Oh, it smells good. Oh my God. I love the taste right away. And this is um Carly Rossi Sangria. It is grape, grape wine with natural flavors. Good. Um oh Lord, let me get, get the name right. I think it's Karina. What is that? Daisy Karina. This was, I, I, I think this is going to be a good choice. And you know, I, first of all, like I told you, I'm a red wine girl. Yes. And it's 10%. Kudos to you. Yay. And um, it's fruity. It's, it's natural. And it's, it's, you know, seems like it's on a healthier um, situation. And I like it. Thank you. It, well, it, let me just say it tastes very good. The only thing I'm waiting on now is, and I'm probably going to have to drink a couple glasses to really see, and I'll, I'll let you guys know by the time I post this video. Um, today is March 28th. It is, it's late. It's 1058. It's late, but you know, we stuck at home, honey, doing coronavirus. I mean, what you going to do? Um, I'm excited. I, I mean, you know, it's the color of grape wine. It's the colors beautiful as always. Grape wine looks like it's a, you know, I'm a red wine drinker. It's sweet to the taste. And, um, I just got to see, you know, I, but I'm going to just tell you my experience. I guess everybody like, dang, she barely tastes the wine and she know I smelt it and I tasted it. And then I thought about the percentage of alcohol that's already in it honey if it tastes like this and smell like this with a 10 percent um with 10 percent on it let me tell you it's gonna i'm in maybe two glasses i'm probably gonna feel the buzz you know what i'm saying so i'm i'm, I'm excited that's why i'm already giving you kudos about this because i'm excited Mo, this is from Mo, Modesto, California. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. It, it's really good. It's really, really good. Yes, y'all. This is delicious. And I like sweet. That's really, really good. Yeah, by the time I put this video up, before I put it up, um, I mean, it's 11 o'clock now, but I don't care how late I send this video out. Um, or maybe I, I might send it out tomorrow. I don't know. I might send it out tomorrow, Sunday. Well, whether I send it out tonight or tomorrow... Because I already sent off some videos in queue for next week. Um, before I send it off, I'm going to know what, you know, if you get a little buzz from it. But I'm almost certain you will. But we'll see. Let me let me not speak before. Um, but my experience, you know, I've been drinking wine long enough to know, you know what I'm saying. I've just put things together, how it tastes. The look of it, the smell of it, the touch, you know what I'm saying? I mean, not the touch, Lord. The smell, the color, the look of it, the smell, the alcohol content, and the contents of the wine was in it. Um, 
packaging. I don't know. I'm serious about my wine. And I feel like this also, too, I look at the how what will go with it. Um, I would definitely have... The, okay, I could have this with some popcorn in the movie. That's number one. I could definitely have this with dinner. Um, I don't eat any meat, so... Um, Maybe like a mushroom burger or something. This will be real good with that. I think that'll work. Um, hmm. I don't know with anything because it's pretty sweet. Um, people that eat steak, if you eat red meat, you probably can drink this with a steak or something. But, you know, I would want something a little bit higher alcohol volume if it were me. You know, because I, like I said, I used to be a carnivore, hardcore. I used to eat, I used to eat years and years ago steak. I would eat a steak at least twice a week. I mean, it was normal for me to do that. Um, and I would just get, a, you know, a wine that was, you know, very strong that could, you know, because wine is, red wine is also a fat burner. Um, so I would get a high volume and then I would have like a steak with it. So, you know, it could, you know, help me in my digestion. Cause we all know steak takes 14 days to digest. Um, but, um, I don't need to talk about steak cause that's not in my life, but I'm just telling, I'm just speaking for steak eaters. Cause I know people that watch me. You know, like steak. Just because I'm vegan, I'm not going to act like I don't know people eat meat because they do. Um, but I don't. But um, if you do, this will be, I think it'll be cool. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, yeah. March 28th is Saturday night. What are you guys doing? I hope you are thinking, um, are, are looking at my videos in the coming weeks. I'm going to be doing videos, um, recipes that I do, that I use. And, <coughs> excuse me, um, doing recipes video recipes, you know, actually cooking the food and showing y'all what I put in it, what I eat, you know, as a vegan. I was doing the vegan on the go videos, but I probably won't do that until we get through this coronavirus thing. Um, since we in Corona, there will not be any out to eat videos. Um, cause that's my, you know, personally, I'm thinking it's not going to make no sense for me to go out and get no food and you know people that's working I'm not understanding I just think of everything like I mean people that are working at a a food place they could have it somebody in their house could have it and give it to them and they standing over you know cooking the food and people say well you can't get coronavirus through food and all that I'm just I'm just thinking of germs. I mean, I just don't want nobody breathing and coughing over my food that's got it or don't even know they have it or think they have it. Um and maybe I'm wrong for even thinking that, but you know, I'm just saying if you're gonna be a germaphobe, if you're gonna be cautious, I just feel like you need to be cautious all the way around the board. I mean, you know, especially now if you're gonna really lock it down. Um, so I'm not doing any out to eat videos. All my videos, um, that I do about food will be food that I'll be preparing in front of you guys on the stove that, um, I eat as a transitional vegan. I'm farther ahead than a lot of people, um, that I know, um, you know, that are around me, that are close to me, that are in my life. And, um, but I'm still a transitional vegan. Um, I'm working on this year, um, getting rid of seafood, but 
I gotta, I gotta say that lightly. I have a couple friends that I'm supposed to do seafood boils with, so I'm gonna honor that commitment. And then after that, I probably, I'm probably gonna be done with it. Cause I, I mean, I'm literally not. I don't know what it is, but I'm literally. I know it, this happened to me when I had me. I'm developing a taste where I don't want seafood anymore. Cause something happened recently, and I think it may be a contributor. Um, you got to really watch. I watch my body reactions to things. And when I have body reactions, it really turns me off. Now, you know, since I've been listening to my body and really paying attention, it really turns me off. So it's get, it gets to the point where if I'm eating something and I feel like something has happened on my body or I, my body has given it, given some type of reaction... It will stop me from not even wanting to eat it again. I'm just, I'm going to be honest. Um, I watched my dad die early. Um, he died at 66, um, you know, of diabetes. And I just, um, and you know, my mom has a terminal illness. Well, I shouldn't, I don't know if I should say that, but my mom is sick and I just, I just, you know, it just makes you think about life. It just makes you think about what can I do to make my life a little bit better and live longer and all this kind of stuff. So I guess everybody has a different why for why they, you know, become vegan and what they're doing. Don't knock it till you try it. It's nothing wrong with it. Um, vegan, we got some real good food. Some of the vegan food, I'm just keeping 1,000 because I'm a foodie. Some of that vegan food is way better than that other stuff. I'm just going to keep it 1,000. I ain't going to say everything, um, but a good bit, it's a good bit. Um, and some, you know, um, there are a few things that may be an acquired taste, but for the most part, you can use seasons that you like. Um, it's mind over matter. You know, we... We do what we want to do, and you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's, I just think it's crucial in this time. Um, I also wanted to speak on building the immune system. The reason why I'm doing these recipes for transitional vegans are those who are thinking about transitioning and having a better diet. Is this crucial now more than ever? And a lot of people think, well, let me eat healthy this week because they're talking about Corona. And maybe let me eat healthy the next week. But then after that, I can cheat and then go back and be healthy and do this. Listen, when you building up an immune system, you got to do that day in and day out. That's every meal. That I mean, right now, it, it, it ain't no cheating. You know what I'm saying? It's like... That's I, I'm doing this wine video for one of my subscribers, but I haven't been drinking wine. Like, and and it's nothing wrong with it. I, I just said that if I do drink wine, it's gonna be on the weekend, which is probably two days. I'm not gonna probably have none on Sunday. Um, and then I'm going into my week. Sunday is my day to rest, to um, you know, take care of some things, get ready for my week. Um, you know, and do church and all that kind of stuff online and, um, journal and, you know, get myself ready for my weekly goals and things that are getting me near to what I'm trying to do. Um, I just want to, I just want to reiterate people are not, don't, they don't know how serious eating healthy is and eating alkaline and eating and I'm an alkaline vegan. You know, sometimes I'm all vegan, sometimes I'm alkal all alkaline, and sometimes I'm alkaline and vegan. That's it. Um, and raw. Because I do do raw vegetables um, and make my own little dipping sauces or whatever. Um, I'm going to introduce to you guys some really fun foods for transitional vegans because we, I know we like fried chicken, we like macaroni and cheese, we like pizza, we like tacos. I'm going to do my version of the, of the, um, 
the staples, the modern American staples, chipotle bowls, and that's what my recipes are going to consist of. I want to make it fun. I want to make it with stuff you guys already eat. Pancakes, omelets. I love omelets. That was one of the things I was worried about as a vegan. Um, I was worried about, can I not, will we not have any alternatives to the things that we like? Um, even hot wings. And people want to be like, hot wings? I even have a portobello, um, I do ribs, vegan ribs, but I do them with portobello mushrooms. And people are like, what? Uh-uh. I did it for my mom, and she did not, she thought it was really ribs. That's how, that's how on point they were and how good they tasted. And I made my own barbecue sauce. And it was alkaline. Um... I just want to say that in building an immune system, and I want to reiterate, that's you got to be consistent. That's a consistent thing. It's in the morning. It's at lunchtime. It's in between meals. If you snacking, you need to get a vegan snack or an alkaline snack. Um, I have a snack that I'm going to do with walnuts. That's really simple. I mean, you can really prepare it. It takes, the preparation time may take five minutes. You put them in the oven with some dates, and it's just, it's you don't have to add sugar because the dates have really, oh, my God, the date sugar. Oh, Lord, dates are so good and sweet, um, and they're healthy for you. Um, and you put them on the pan with some walnuts, and it's the best snack ever. You ain't had nothing, I'm, and, and, and it doesn't. I'm going to give you things that don't require a whole bunch of ingredients. So if you're trying to be transitional, you can meal prep this stuff. It ain't going to take you all day or all, you know what I'm saying? You can meal prep it for the week for five days. Um, I think they got meal prep containers on Amazon. Um, you can meal prep the snacks for five days, meal prep the, the dinners and the lunch and the breakfast. One thing I like about being a vegan is intentional eating, is conscious eating, so you know what you're eating, you know what I'm saying. Um, it's about balance and consistency. Um, so I just wanted to say that you guys, that we, building an immune system is something that you must be consistent with it is nothing that you can say i'm gonna do today but i'm not gonna do tomorrow but i do it the next day but i ain't gonna do it the next day after that it's got to be consistent that's why i said i'll do the wine tour at the end of the week because i can do that for maybe a day or two and then i'm done until the next weekend you know what i'm saying because i'm serious about my diet um and I don't want to call it a diet. It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle. Um, and wine is healthy. Wine is healthy and good for you. But there is, you know, um, some wines have a little bit of sugar in them. And, um, but, you know, not. I, I don't think they have enough to do anything. I think the alcohol overpowers that. Um... But I'm, you can't have your body in that state all the time because it, I don't feel like it'll be able to fight anything off. So I've been, you know, look, I, I'm, I don't get sick. So I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for many, many years. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm 10 years in vegan, alkaline and raw. Um, and I've been drinking my wine. Um, now, if you drink wine pretty much like... Um, you can have, I feel like you can have a glass a day if you want. I've, I've slowed down. I normally have like a glass for lunch and maybe for dinner, but I don't, I've slowed that down. I've changed that drastically. Like I'm serious. And when it comes to something like this coronavirus, some of the things that I normally do, I just change it up. If I'm, if I don't, if I take a glass with my meals, I just make it, I just say no more glass, glasses with the meals during the week. It's just going to be the weekend. 
you got to learn how to change it up when you need to change it up. Now it's about immunity. When it's about immunity, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna have to slow the glasses down for the meals. Um, even if it's one glass a day or two glasses a day, which is not hardly for me like that anymore. When I was younger, it was, and I mean, I, I have done it, but I just know when something like this happens, you got to learn how to say, okay, wait a minute, focus. We're getting back to business. The things that you normally did or do, you cannot do it in this moment at this time. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Now, when this moves over and everybody's okay and people don't went back to work, uh, we might be able to get back on the horse. But um, when it, I know what I know, and so I curve, I curve my lifestyle for, especially for something like this. I'm not doing normal. I'm not gonna do the normal stuff. And like I said, you beef it up. You know, um, be clean and wash your hands. I normally wash my hands. I normally am clean. You know what I'm saying? I normally, you know, sanitize and wipe down surfaces. But I've been doing it way more than I do it, way more than I normally do it just because of coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? Like today I went to the farmer's market with, you know, I had a scarf over my mouth. People was looking at me crazy. I didn't care. Y'all can sit around here. They said this thing is airborne and y'all stand over here talking it all up in the air, even though we outside. Like, I'm not taking no I'm Look, I'm taking all the precautions. Call me what you want. I'm going to get through this. You feel me? Like, I don't want to get none of that. I don't want to get sick from nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was in the store and this this old lady was so sweet and she was talking to me and I kept stepping back from her and she was coming to me. I said, ma'am, I ain't trying to be funny, but you see, I got this mask and you're going to step back, honey. I had, a, I had my face covered and I still asked her to step back. I'm not, nah, not your girl. I'm not trying to do that. No. Um, somebody on YouTube, I think it's somebody famous that they called it and it shut their kidneys down like in the next four days. Like, I... You know, I think a lot of people not taking it serious, but anyway, I didn't mean to get all off into that, but um, yeah, this wine is good. I'm starting to feel a buzz. I'm starting to feel a buzz, just a, just a tad bit, not like a heavy buzz, but y'all know I like to talk on the wine videos because I don't want them to be too quick. But then I wanted to give the wine, you know, time to do what it's going to do. Um, I got a, I got a light. I feel like a little light buzz. Let me just say, I think I'm going to be right. When I get that second glass, and I'm going to get the second glass, by the time I send this video off, yeah, it's going to, yeah, by the time I send this video off, it's going to be, I, I think I'm going to have a buzz. So I'll make sure that I, respond in the description and let you guys know how I feel um with with a second glass what I was feeling but I think this might be I think this might be something good and I think my daughter would like it and if you like sweet if you like sweet and you like sangria and you like red wine great wine this is it this your this is you right here this is it it's great packaging's cool Packaging cool. Yep. So I love you, Trinsetta gang. I didn't want to take this long to, to talk about no wine, but I just thought I would check with y'all. I love you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, do not forget to click that notification bell so you will always know every time I upload a new video. I love you, Trinsetta gang. Stay safe. Stay coronavirus free and continue to boost your immune system. And do not, again, allow this time to get you down. Like I said, if y'all want to email me, my email is in the description below. Um, if you want to chat through the comments, just holler at me. You know what I'm saying? If y'all at home, what y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Do you need some suggestions or some help with some ideas or some things to do? Do you want to just talk and vent? Are you upset? I'm here for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. 
Um, yeah, just respond, chat with me in the comments and whatnot. Um, if you send me something and it's personal and you just want to talk, maybe I, I may give my phone number out. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's I gotta think about that one. But if it's just a, you know a comment that you want to make, you don't want to get too deep. You just want to say this is crazy. I'm tired of this. I'm ready to go back to work. You know what I'm saying? That's everybody. That's all of us. We here together. We all experiencing the same thing. So everybody feel the same way. I'm so sure. Okay. Um, I love you, Trendset again, and thanks for watching. And don't forget, it's Trendset again. Or no game. Cheers. Bye. Mm.